Welcome to DRTV, a series of videos with bike maintenance, bike people and bike adventures. Today we're going to do an oil change on the Suzuki 650. But I'm going to try it using the tools supplied by Suzuki and nothing else. I've cut out the top of an old oil bottle for a drip tray. We like to do things and keep it simple and we've just got a couple of DO washers, sump, I've got a magnetic sump plug to put in place and the oil filter. Today I'm using this oil, recommended by a friend who's been a long enthusiast. So let's get started. You want to make sure that your bike's nice and clean or fairly clean. We're going to warm up the bike in a moment. We're also going to clean around these surfaces to make sure that it's a lot easier to put back together. So I'll start up the bike and warm it up and come back to you shortly. So that's about 15 minutes of warm up time. We'll shut it down. And I'll show you what I've discovered. First thing is, 10mm is the smallest spanner we have. And 17mm is the supplied spanner for the sump. But with a bash plate on there, you can't get your 17mm spanner up underneath to get in the hole. So I'm going to have to use a socket. And as for these, they're 8mm. So I don't know how Suzuki suggests we get that all apart on, while we're out on the road. But never mind. So what we're going to do, as I don't like mucking about, or fast forwarding videos, I've got myself the first step. We've got our ratchet, 17mm and 8mm socket. And as I said, I don't like mucking about, so as soon as we're ready, we're going to use the right tool for the right job. Just like my pop said. Well, I couldn't I couldn't fit the power tool under here and the drip tray so I've had to do it the old-fashioned way don't want to drop her in there she goes Undo your filler cap, keep it clean on the side, and make sure you got the tool running the right way. And there's going to be a spring here, so you want to not drop it. It is a little bit warm, as you can see, there's your spring. And the O-ring is just sitting here. We'll put that to one side. Pull our filter out. Come on, you bugger. As I said, right tool for the right job another little o-ring on the inside and pull him out and clean out this old oil give it all a bit of a wipe down while we're in there New O-ring goes on. She's quite a little bit hot actually. Nice and snug. Chuck her in. A 
lay your o-ring into the new cap or back into the cap bit of oil on there make sure it's in the right way of course And then there's one thing to do. And of course I'm not that silly. We don't want busted threads. Get him nice and snug. They do have torque newton meters to tighten these up to. Best look in the manual for that if that's it what you're into. I don't have a torque meter so that's not me. Take the sump plug. That's a new one I got. It's got a crush washer on there. That's the one they supplied. Spiller in. Felt a bit tight there, I didn't want to fret it. But I think we've got it right now. I couldn't find anything but this cup to measure with, so I'm just going to use that and pour it in. Uh, a bit of a dribble there. Good for lubrication. Two quarts, 1.9 litres. Alright, give her a run for a minute and then we'll check the oil. And just lift her up level. As you can see in the sight glass. Whoop. Anywhere in between there. As long as she's not over full or under full, we're in business. So somewhere in there. All we do is screw off the cap. There's your pourer. Straight into another container. So make sure you always dispose of your oil in an environmentally friendly way.